Hey you guys, my name is Amy Patterson and I'm a four star diamond coach from Portland, Oregon. And Mary Day asked me if I would get on and share with you guys a little bit about my best practices for why it's important to stay consistent and persistent throughout the fourth quarter. So this is something I've been talking to my team a lot about because, um, you know, we tend to hear, you know, a lot about how, you know, no one's listening right now. People aren't interested in fitness. People are just distracted with the holidays, with everything going on. Um, and so, you know, what happens is coaches start backing down what they're doing because they think that their work is not going to pay off. And I am here to just urge you not to back down, to stay consistent and persistent. And the reason is, is that I've been through this season um, twice now. I've been a coach for about two and a half years. And I have seen, you know, the season um, that we're in right now, as far as how, you know, people will say it's slow and it may be, be harder to hit success club, but I've seen how staying consistent with your inviting and staying um, consistent on social media, sharing that you're a product of the product, showing people that you are still making your pri yourself a priority throughout the stressful, busy holiday season, even when you feel like nobody's watching you, that is when people are waiting for you to back down and quit. It's like they almost want you to, and that's when you have to show them that, no, I'm making this a priority, this is a lifestyle, and so people are watching you, and they're going to be developing that trust, you know, that they're going to think of you when they finally decide that they are ready to make a change. So just because you're hearing a lot of, you know, it's a slow season, people aren't interested, it's only that if that's what your mindset is. My thought is if there are people who are backing down and not sharing as much anymore, this is our time. This is our time to shine through, to press forward. It's not a time to slow down, it's a time to speed up. And it may be a time where we have to expect to work a little bit harder for the results that we might be used to seeing, but it will pay off and it will be worth it if you stay consistent and you trust the process. Um, this is a business that we all know that develops over time. And after being a coach now for almost two and a half years, I've seen people that have, you know, I talked to at the very beginning of my coaching business, they didn't come back to me until a year and a half, two years in when they were finally ready to make a change and they see you being consistent. They see that you're taking it seriously. And the fourth quarter, like I said, this is very a very important time for us in our business to not back down because we can really be setting ourselves up for a successful New Year's if we are consistent right now. Um, but we have to be creative. So we have to think a little bit more outside of the box. Certain things that we may have done in the summer or in the springtime may not work as well now, and we have to work a little bit harder to get people's attention on social media, and we also have to approach this season in a different way. And so by that, I mean, you know, structuring your social media posts talking about the specific ob objections that you're getting at this time of year, you know, that I'm going to wait until after the holidays and I'm not going to invest in myself now because I know I'm just going to be indulging and I have too many trips and things like that over the holidays. I'm going to wait till New Year's. Um, well, we totally know that a lot of people are going to give us that, you know, as as an objection, um, we can still talk through those objections with people. Explain to them that why now, um, the holiday season, is the time where they may need the support and accountability the most, you know, so that they can, you know, stick to their fitness goals and not just completely forget everything until New Year's. Or, you know, the example of when people are traveling, it's so amazing to be able to travel with Shakeology. We all know that traveling can be rough on your body, rough on your digestive system. You know, you're eating food that's out of the norm and having your Shakeology packet to take with you when you're traveling is key. And just think about if everybody during the holiday season and all the rich food and eating, you know, eating out and going to Christmas parties and all this, what if people at least were giving themselves that dense superfood nutrition every single day along with that? Like that would be better than not having it, right? So I just like to talk people through this season. Be a little bit more creative about how you're talking to people. Um, 
especially with people who are considering coaching. I have had several people that have talked to me this month about coaching who want to wait until after New Year's to start even you know their own transformation process. And I've been talking to them about, hey, why not start now? This is the best time to start because you can jump in my challenge group, see what it's all about, the behind the scenes, start a program, start drinking Shakeology, start getting your own results, sharing it on social media now, so that when New Year's does come and people are gonna already have built that trust watching you do this through the holiday season. So that's kind of my approach with um, talking to people who wanna put coaching on the back burner, encouraging them that there's never a better time to start than right now, that we have to make this a lifestyle and we have to work through whatever stage of life we're in, whatever season of life we're in, okay? So, um, like I said, just be creative, think outside of the box, think of some things that your team could do. I know a lot of people are talking about how they also, they not only feel like their audience is not paying attention as much this time of year, but they also feel like their teams are taking a step back, they are not as present on social media either. So one thing that my team is doing is we are running two groups, um, two three-day refresh groups. One is gonna be right after Thanksgiving, One's going to be right after Christmas, and I feel like these are very seasonal. Um, it, you know, it's that the three day refresh is a perfect um, system for people to use right after Thanksgiving to just get some short and sweet, quick results um, to feel good and know that they don't have to, you know, go the whole holiday season feeling, you know, bloated and like with a stomach ache. That they can, you know, enjoy Thanksgiving and enjoy, you know, having some treats and indulg indulgences, but then get right back on track with a three day refresh. Um, leading them right into a challenge group that's going to go right up until the 23rd. So right before Christmas, that's when we're going to end it. Then, like I said, have another three-day refresh group starting after Christmas. So just thinking about the season and how you can, you know, be creative with your challenge groups to, you know, gear them towards um, this season that we're in. So it's not going to be like the same one that you ran in the summer for getting ready for, you know, going to the beach. It's like, how can we all make it through the holiday season healthy and not not gaining the typical you know 12 pounds that most Americans gain during the holidays so I've had a lot of um, responses from that as well as um, it's a great way to get your team re-engaged and get them involved so I've made it a whole team-wide challenge group everybody's welcome to do it with us to add their own challengers to it so hopefully that'll be a way to keep my team engaged throughout this fourth quarter and not you know, drifting off with, um, with, you know, the rest of people. So, you know, if you guys were at summit and you heard Gary V talk, um, his, uh, his speech really hit me for a lot of reasons. And he talked a lot about how we really need to be patient and how, you know, we can't think that we're working harder than we really are. And, you know, talking about the fourth quarter and why it's so important that we stay present and consistent and we don't back down because this this is a business that if we want it to grow, we have to treat it like we it's the business that we want it to be in the future, whatever that is. And so we can't just completely disappear from social media. We have to be present, develop that trust, develop relationships with people, and think outside the box about how you can invite people differently, okay? If you've noticed, I feel like with Messenger, I don't get responses from people super quickly, and I have been a lot more open to you know asking people hey do you want to just chat on the phone I can let you know all about the challenge group we can find a program that's gonna work for you this season talk about Shakeology and get you all set up over the phone versus having these conversations with people and the relationship building that lasts weeks because you know you're sending them a message and then you're waiting two or three days to hear back from them and then you send another one back and it's just like a, a phone tag so if you want to have you know, some quicker, you know, conversations happening with people, don't be afraid to pick up the phone and talk to somebody. I think that so many of my customers and challengers have appreciated having that really personal connection. Don't be afraid to use the voice messenger on your Facebook. I do that all the time. Part of the reason is because I have three kids. One of them's a baby, so I'm always having a baby on my hip, talking to somebody on my voice messenger, but I'm leaving them those messages because then they see that it's like I'm a real human, I have real emotion behind my voice. I'm not 
just a robot sitting behind typing on my computer. Um, you know, they're hearing directly from me the excitement about the challenge group and what's going on in our business this time of year. So don't be afraid to use voice messenger. It's kind of like the whole Facebook Live thing. I think that's awesome because people can really get to know the real you. So don't be afraid to change what you're doing, okay? So we have to constantly be willing to adjust to the season that we're in, to what Facebook is doing, what social media is doing, and if things have not worked in the past, you need to look at what you've done and figure out what could I change this month that you know could potentially bring some better results about for me. But my overall um, theme of this is just to stay consistent, stay persistent, don't give up, Pour into your personal development because you're going to really need that right now. If you do hear no a lot, just know that that is a sign that you are doing what you should be doing and you're planting lots of seeds. And I have seen it happen now two years in a row where I stayed consistent when I felt like nobody was watching in November and December and come January and February, all of a sudden people were ready, people showed up in my inbox, but that's not gonna happen if you disappear on social media. So don't back down now. There are a lot of coaches out there right now who are. They are saying it's too hard, it's too hard to hit success club, but that's only gonna be true if you believe it to be true. We all know that so much of what in your head is what actually manifests. So believe that you're gonna hit success club because other people are taking a step back. You're not going to, you're gonna forge forward and you're gonna work a little bit harder right now to reap the benefits in the new years. Um, just trust me, you guys, trust the process, um, be patient, be willing to work hard and um, have a fantastic fourth quarter.